हिम नंबर ए थर्टी टू ए थर्टी टू आई रिचॉइस वेन आई वॉट द पीपल today's mass for the intentions of bernard fernandes may god bless him abundantly in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the lord be with you and with your spirit let my prayer come into your presence incline your ear to my cry for help o lord the lord is ever prompt to listen to our needs and the greatest need of ours is the gift of the holy spirit we need to be led by the holy spirit so we need to pray god to give us the holy spirit so that we become a model of christian living for all our people we come into contact with having failed to become model of christian living let us ask the lord to pardon us to forgive us and therefore we say i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault Therefore I ask blessed Mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God may almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen Almighty and merciful God graciously keep from us all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body alike we may pursue 
in freedom of heart the things that are yours through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen A, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, teach what accords with sound doctrine. Older men are to be sober-minded, dignified, self-controlled, sound in faith, in love and in steadfastness. Older women, likewise, are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers or slaves, to much wine. They are to teach what is good and so train the young women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind and submissive to their own husbands that the word of God may not be reviled. Likewise, urge the younger men to be self-controlled, show yourself in all respects to be a model of good works and in your teaching show integrity, dignity and sound speech that cannot be condemned so that an opponent may be put to shame have, having nothing evil to say about us. From the grace of God has appeared bringing salvation for all people training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright and godly lives in the present age, waiting for our blessed hope and the appearing of the glory of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people for his own possession who are jealous for good works. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response from the Lord comes the salvation of the just. From the Lord comes the salvation of the just. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will dwell in the land and safely pasture. Find your delight in the Lord who grants your heart's desire. Response. From the from Lord, Lord comes, comes the salvation, salvation of the just. the just. The Lord takes note of the days of the blameless. Their heritage will last forever. By the Lord are the steps made firm of one in whose faith he delights. Response, from, from the, the Lord, Lord comes, comes the salvation, salvation of the just. the just. Then turn away from evil and do good, and you may abide forever. The just shall inherit the land, there they shall abide forever. Response, from, from the, the Lord, Lord comes the salvation, the salvation of the just. the just. Acclamation, kindly rise. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said, Will any one of you who has a servant plowing or keeping sheep say to him, When he has come in from the field, come at once 
and recline at table, will he not rather say to him, prepare supper for me and dress properly and serve me while I eat and drink? And afterwards, you will eat and drink. Thus he thanked the servant because he did what was commanded. So you also, when you have done all that you were commanded, say, We are unworthy servants. We have only done what was our duty. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, something very important for our day-to-day -day living and that is a piece of advice that is given to us by St. Paul in today's first reading. He has dedicated this letter to Titus, a close companion, a close follower of Paul. He was very much involved in the work or in the ministry which was being carried out by Paul. So Paul gives him good, good advices, good, good directions for life. And Titus was a young boy, young man. He is training him up so that he can train others. And one thing that he told him is this. Be a model of good works in all respects. Paul takes a human life. Paul takes Christian way of living in all its totality, not only one aspect, you come to church, you are a model for others, you pray so well, you sing so well, this is one aspect, this is one side of our living, but our life is not only restricted to the church, to the temple of God within. He has sent us out. God gave us the mission, reach out to others. So you are dealing with others matters a lot. You are working with others matters a lot. You are sharing with others is also important. And that is the Christian way of living. And Paul has so nicely spelled out the meaning of model. I'm not talking of modeling. We all know what is meant by modeling and so nice it is. But this is much, much better and much, much more when he says be model of good works in all respects. And he has explicitated in what way we can become a model. He says, show integrity. So integrity, be one, be whole, holistic approach. All aspects come into one. Dignity. Uphold your dignity, you are Christian. You cannot be like Pharisees, you cannot be like Sadducees, you cannot be those uh, teachers of the law who had no love for God, no. And sound is speech. 
you are sharing your conversation with others you are speaking the truth and pope francis says today we need models for our people especially he is referring to our youngsters and that is why the recently declared blessed carlo acutis who died at the age of 15 is a model he says for our youngsters in the past we had for our youngsters models like saint eloysius of gonzaga saint dominic savio they still continue to be models for our youngsters for us also he has uh, created models like uh, the parents he has uh, uh, canonized the parents of saint teresa of child jesus he put them together not uh, individually and he said these are the models for our parents so model meaning an example we uh, live by doing what god tells us to do and that attracts people this is the beauty there's a saying in latin exempla traunt the examples the models attract that's why our youngsters and all they see so many film stars or so many um, cricketers and all others they see their style they imitate their walking their dressing all that so because examples are powerful and in the message uh, of you on the occasion of uh, mission sunday pope referred to this you are sent not necessarily to proclaim the word of god let you are example attract people to christ and they will believe you because they see you doing that words fly verba volan what you speak it goes in the air but your life is there your way of living is there so that uh, pulls your home people your children your neighbors and that is the way, the way we become models let us try let us make an attempt it is difficult but it is not impossible B11 in number B11 All things are our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands 
for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church look with favor we pray o lord upon the sacrificial gifts offered here that celebrating in mystery the passion of your son we may honor it with loving devotion through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for although you have no need of our praise yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through christ our lord and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we acclaim You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when sap was handed he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence to and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our pope and Philip Neri our bishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters 
we have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are called to His Supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Since we cannot receive Jesus at this moment sacramentally, let us make an act of spiritual communion and experience the presence of Jesus who is in us, who dwells in our hearts, who abides in us. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I receive 
says to me, I am the bread which I give to feed your soul. He who eats of this my flesh will attain the heavenly call. I receive the is filled with joy. I receive the living God, and my heart is filled with joy. Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the outpouring forth of your Spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your, our, your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. E54. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say Rejoice in the Lord always and